If you're a fan of all things massive and deeply impressive, well then you're in the right place. Hello you glorious human beings, it's Rachel again. Today's list is a celebration of humanity's ambition as we review our top 10 mega projects currently under construction. Let's dig in. Coming in at number 10, the International Space Station. Look to the sky, because that's where we are starting off our list today. The International Space Station is an ongoing mega project that is already a stepping stone towards humanity's exploration of the stars. Every 92 minutes, the ISS circles Earth, taking in the ultimate bird's eye view of our planet. It's already racked up quite the bill and it keeps on going. In 2019, it announced construction plans that will amount to over $60 billion in costs. Eventually, they want the station to be big enough to house over 1 million off-Earth occupants, like an actual habitat for humans in space. We are so close. How nuts is that? By the end of the project, the final cost is projected to be around $1 trillion. But considering they're aiming for life in space, I'd say kind of what we need to do, like take my money, but also I need money for rent in Toronto because that's really expensive. So maybe we can work on installments. I don't know, but I just do it. Do it. I love it. I love that idea. It's a great idea. Coming in at number nine, the South North Water Transfer Project in China. The north of China is home to around 50% of China's population of 1.4 billion people. However, they currently only have access to 20% of the country's water resources. This definitely sounds like a big problem and the South North Water Transfer Project is an ambitious solution to the issue. So three massive canals, each 600 miles in length, are being built to carry water from China's three largest rivers. It took them 50 years to finalize the conception of the project. By the end of the four 48 year construction schedule, the project will supply 44.8 billion cubic meters of water each year. Now all they have to do is come up with a cool name for it, because right now it's kind of like lackluster, though I'm pretty sure they have a good name for it either in Mandarin or Cantonese, so you know, maybe it just sounds lame in English. Number eight, London Crossrail Project. If you've ever been to London, England, you've experienced the tube and the terrifying reality that is rush hour it is packed beyond belief. With close to 10 million people and counting, even a subway system of of that size isn't enough. I've seen Toronto in rush hour and I thought that was bad. It's even worse than New York. When I visited London, I was literally, it was like literally like globs of sardines moving together shoulder to shoulder. It was terrifying. But the London Crossrail project is a massive project, duh, otherwise it wouldn't be on this list. That is set on adding 26 miles of new tunnels and 40 new stations on the Elizabeth line. Currently costing over $23 billion, it will add a 10% increase in rail capacity along with air conditioning, walkthrough trains, and braking system that reduce energy use by 30%. Pretty chic, you know? Why not? Go for an upgrade. Coming in at number seven, we have Shuo Shinkansen in Japan. Speaking of commuter life, Japan has already created one of the fastest trains in the world and plans to use it in their new project, Shuo Shinkansen. This is a train made for the future with its sleek and chic design. They're beautiful, fast, safe, and reliable, which is basically the four things you want every time you travel. Based on the maglev system, AKA the magnetic levitation system, Japan is building a new high-speed rail line that will take occupants 177.8 miles in 40 minutes. To put this into perspective, and correct me if I'm wrong, but if you were traveling around 100 miles per hour on the highway, it would take about an hour and 45 minutes to travel that distance. So they cut a lot of time, and that's because this train can travel up to 313 miles per hour, and once this project is completed in 2027, they plan to extend the rail line to Osaka. It is the ultimate commuter train, and man, do I wish they had that in Toronto. I easily spent two hours on the TTC in one day because I've been waiting for trains or delays or whatever. Well, we can only dream. Number six, great man-made river project in Libya. This next project is so big, it's been in construction since 1985 and it's still got 10 more years before it finishes cooking. Great things take time and the Great Man-Made River Project in Libya is the largest irrigation project in the world. When it's finally finished in 2030, it will irrigate 350,000 acres of farmland and increase availability of safe drinking water in Libya's cities. The water source they are using are vast underground reservoirs over 38 to 14,000 years old that they discovered whilst on the search for oil. Before they could even begin laying any pipe work down, they had to excavate 85 million cubic meters of desert and that was just phase one. That's insane. Like imagine how they're gonna feel when this is done. Man, oh man, that's perseverance and it's definitely a project to keep your eye out for. Coming in at number five, California 
California's High Speed Rail Project. The project began in 2015, and yes, it's exactly as it sounds. The California High Speed Rail is set to be complete in 2029, and its aim is to connect the 10 largest cities in the state of California. From what I've heard from friends who visited California, the transit system isn't the greatest. And the traffic makes you question why you even bothered to get in the car and be faster to walk. But the train is optimistic. It will be 100% electric and powered by renewable energy sources and capable of speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. This incredibly ambitious project will be completed in two phases. It will first connect San Francisco and Los Angeles and then Sacramento to San Diego, totaling 800 miles with 24 new stations all together. Number four, Dubai land. We've talked a lot about trains, spaceships, water, all things you can find in varying forms, hopefully at Dubai land. But before I get too far into this, if you like this video, you know, let us know and press that button and subscribe. You know what to do. You've been to Walt Disney World, you know how massive it is. Well, now that you've got that in your head, Dubai land is aiming to be three times the size of Walt Disney World. It can fit three of them in Dubai land. Three Walt Disney Worlds, in one place. Like that is, that is Dubai land. But will it be three times the fun? This $64 billion project will have six different parts. Theme parks, sports venues, tourism, health facilities, science attractions, and hotels covering a massive 278 square kilometer area. That's about 107 square miles. On top of it being the world's largest attraction site, it will also have the world's largest hotel, 6,500 rooms, a 10 million square foot mall. It will hopefully be completed by 2025, but with COVID and other financial hiccups, the project most likely will take a little longer. Perfect opportunity to save some money before you go. I'll see you there. Number three, Jubail 2. Since its conception in the 1970s, Jubail became the biggest industrial city in the world that was built from the ground up in Saudi Arabia. And it keeps getting bigger. Jubail 2 is the next step in the project. So far it has taken over 22 years, but Jubail 2 is promised to be a gigantic civil engineering project that will double the size of the initial city. It will also attract over 56 billion foreign investments due to the massive industrial capacity, including a huge oil refinery plant, residential units, a university, as well as utilities for water and waste. Oh, and it will create over 55,000 job opportunities, which people will no doubt be clawing for after this pandemic is over, whenever, whenever that is. Soon. Soon, guys. We just gotta, we just gotta keep going. Number two, Mazdar City. Mazdar City is the city of the future. This ongoing urban communities development project aims to be the most sustainable development project in the world. Located next to Abu Dhabi Airport, Mazdar City has combined traditional Arabic architecture with modern technology in such a way that they've actually lowered the temperature of the city by five degrees. So everywhere else is like five degrees hotter. They're cool. Everything is within walking distance and the buildings are powered by clean energy and reduce the use of energy and water consumption by 40%. Eventually the city aims to expand in order to host 19,000 other occupants by introducing schools and other businesses. It is a remarkable feat towards green living and has become the green blueprint for the rest of the world. Last but not least, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. This is the world's largest nuclear fusion project. What is nuclear fusion, you ask? Nuclear fusion is when two or more nuclei are fused together, which creates an outburst of energy, which follows the formula of equals mc squared. That's a very simplistic description of it, as you can probably tell. I'm not a scientist. Wish I was. To give you a good idea, the best example of nuclear fusion is the sun. Nuclear fusion is what gives the sun its power. It constantly occurs on the surface of our star. So on the sun, hydrogen atoms break apart under immense heat and pressure and combine to create a heavier element called helium. So in the process, it loses some mass and this loss of mass is then multiplied by the square of the speed of light, which results in a massive burst of energy, which is E. Therefore, Einstein's E equals MC squared. So the reason we care about it so much is that it has the potential to provide an insane amount of energy to power our cities across the world, which is exactly what this mammoth of a project is trying to do. This $25 billion endeavor aims to produce sustainable fusion energy for commercial sale and is being financed by the European Union, the UK, China, India, Russia, Japan, South Korea, and the United States. So when it says it's international in the title, it pretty much means it. Weighing in at 23,000 tons and standing several stories high this is probably the most complicated engineering project in human history. They're literally trying to create the sun on Earth so we can power our computers and turn on the lights in our house. Like, how insane is that? And that is our top 10 
the projects currently under construction. I hope you found this as inspiring and fascinating as I did. Look at all the things we can do. I'd love to know what you guys think and do you want more videos like this? I like doing them so I say yes. I've been your host Rachel Fisher and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Until I see you next time, take care.